episode of Show Me Your Stack. I'm so excited to welcome today's guest, Aaron. Aaron, let's shuffle up and see what's in your tech stack. Welcome to today's episode. Hello, listeners, and welcome to Show Me Your Stack. Today, I am so excited to be interviewing Aaron. Aaron, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Yeah, absolutely. Thank you so much for having me. This is uh, so great to be here. Uh, so my name is Aaron. I'm the Director of Technical Services at BridgeRev. Uh, we're an elite HubSpot partner. I get to build lots of really cool things on HubSpot. Um, I would say Content Hub is probably uh, my, my absolute favorite if I if I just had to pick one. Um, so I'm, I'm very into all things CMS and um, building cool experiences with your data. So love it all right let's go ahead and jump in and share with us what your number five tech stack tool is for sure okay so number five i have make which is an ipass solution and okay. um, i've just been able to do some really cool things with it that have saved me a lot of time uh especially when it comes to like uh, migrations and things like that there's a couple of tools that uh, it integrates with it lets you like scrape data from the web and so um, yeah lots of lots of cool functionality there and uh, they're one of our um, awesome partners so always okay. good to give them a shout out all right I'm gonna have to look into that one I have not heard of it or used it which I love finding out these new tools so thanks yeah. for sharing um, something fresh what do you have for us at number four so number four might also be one that you haven't heard of, um, and it's one that I came across when I was trying to solve a very specific problem. So it's called Team Password Manager, and it does exactly what it says it does, um, manages passwords for your team. Um, but one, function, one piece of functionality that I was looking for that I couldn't find anywhere else uh, was the ability to automate passwords going into the team folders where people can oh. just have access um okay. there's, there's always that like manual okay the client sent me their password usually through like email or something not secure at all and then it has to like, right. get to your password manager so i wanted to cut out that middle step and um, team password manager allows you to do that um so it's a really it's a really cool solution okay i love it i also am like taking note of that one and definitely probably using that ASAP. Um, so what do you have for me at number three? So number three, you may have heard this one, Superhuman. It's uh, basically an app for your email. So it sits on top of Gmail almost um, and it's AI powered and just totally supercharges all things about your email. Um, it's pretty much the only way I can keep up with my email. <laughs> um, it has a, a really good um, interface where I can get to inbox zero, which is crazy for me because usually it's at like several hundred. And you said it's superhuman, right? Yes. Yeah. Superhuman now. Okay. I'm mm -hmm. looking it up right now. I'm like, oh, I got to I gotta dig into this. No, so, that one is like, as we get up to the top of the list, like we're getting into stuff that I use all, like can't live without for sure. I love it. Okay, what do you have for me at number two? Okay, so number two is Monica AI. Have you okay. heard of that one? No. I okay. have not heard. Okay, this is a record. I'm killing it. I, I feel like you hear all these, you hear stuff all the time. So like to, to pick out some that you haven't heard of, I'm super stoked. I know you're episode 15 for me. So oh. what is that? Five, like five times 15, 75 right. tech stats. And I have not heard of any of these. So you're, I love it. I'm taking okay. this as a win, totally. <laughs> for sure. Uh, all right, so Monica, Monica is a is an app that it kind of combines all of the different AI tools. So you can, okay. um, it's, it's one app where you can select, like I wanna talk to Claude or I wanna use GPT-4 or, uh, mm -hmm. so depending on your different use cases and it has some specific ones that are built around coding. So that's my, my handy dandy, like can't code without it anymore kind of app. Um, if I need some kind of helper function or if I need to debug something or, um, even when okay. I'm trying to just like add comments to my code, so I remember what I did later on. Um, right. That has that has been super super helpful. Okay, I am like and the name, I love it. 
I love that yeah, AI I, one that actually named it a real name. I call like, it my work thank wife. You, Mon- <laughs> yes. I love it. Like, like I legit call it my work wife. Uh, and, and talk like I talk about Monica and I also uh, p- uh, people on my team make fun because I call chat GPT Jarvis like I have my own rule. <laughs> so I so Monica and Jarvis really get me through the day. I love it. All right. What what do you have at one? All right, so one more AI tool that I can't live without, and that's Firefly's AI. Um, Can't go to a meeting without it at this point. Um, But what I really like about it is um, you can automate a lot of stuff with Fireflies. Mm -hmm. And so I can automatically pipe my uh, call transcripts into an AI that, you know, pulls out you know, any quotes that I think might be good for a review or, you know, topics that people are asking about a lot, it can pull those out and like give me some research on it. Um, So there's a lot of things that you can do um, to kind of automate off of the data you're getting from Fireflies. And then also just to be able to go and ask a meeting a question. (laughs) So like each meeting has its own little AI bot and you can go in and say, Hey, did the client ever say this? Like, did I miss something? Um, and kind of, uh, work backwards on, on a lot of things. So fireflies, uh, yeah, can't go to any meetings without it. I love it. All right. Let me recap. So I have make team password, superhuman, Monica and fireflies. Yep. Those are top five. I, I mean, out of 75 tools I've heard about, you brought four that are new. Like, that's a record. I love so, it. I love, I it. love that. <laughs> okay. Um, since you work um, in SaaS and tech, what are you hearing about in industry that you're excited about? Yeah, I think just in general, how how people are using AI and kind of the where it's getting to, to the point where it's taking a lot of the mundane stuff off of my daily to-do list, like things Mm -hmm. like, you know, my email and my meetings and things that I used to have to put a lot of time and energy into to be able to extract any value out of, um, to like, you know, go about my day. Um, it, it has really freed me up to do a lot more creative stuff, which I think is awesome. And, and then of course, you know, getting to build more things, um, yeah, I, so I, I think the rise of AI has been, um, has been really crucial in getting me back to doing things that I like to do, which is, um, which- I love that. I, that's like the best way I've heard AI described. It's falling, you know, some form of it in everyone's tech stack. And, you know, I feel like there is people that are like, oh no, what is this? And then there's the people that have really embraced, like, this is freeing up time for me to spend where I love it. So exactly, exactly. That's awesome. All right. My favorite question. And I just shared this question came about from us at super talking. We do like random questions of the day Mm -hmm. here and there. And so we said, if you, if a VC knocked on your door, what do you build? So I'm Mm -hmm. like, I have to bring this into the podcast. I love it. So Aaron, what do you build? So I thought about this a lot and I think I think what I would want to build is some kind of brainstorming mind dump app where, because that's something that I end up doing a lot. It was where I need to just like ideate things and it's not necessarily going to be linear. And so I, I, you know, I'll have like a, a mind map in Miro and maybe like a whiteboard in Canva and I have a document that has all the like notes written out. And so it's just kind of this disjointed um, right. system where I'm just trying to get my thoughts out. And so I think it would be really cool to have some kind of app that made that process a little more intuitive um, mm-hmm. and, and then maybe even incorporated some AI so that you're not just like staring at a blank screen trying to brainstorm. You can kind of like get the ball rolling in the right direction a little bit. So right. yeah, I think that would, if, if, if anybody has something like that, please hit me up because I need it bad. I, I mean, there's so many SaaS companies out there, you know, and it's like how I, I hear this all the time is what tools of work. I mean, I feel like SAS went this hyper focus where everyone is creating a niche mm-hmm. and then almost like the last pass of combining everything into a streamlined process got left out. 
Right. Right. So. Yeah, absolutely. I love it. Well, Erin, anything else you want to share with us before parting? No, I think uh, hopefully that uh, people, the listeners got a little something out of this, to learn something new, or, or uh, if you... Um, if you do end up using any of these tools, hit me up on LinkedIn. I would love to, to know, uh, about your experience with it. And, uh, yeah, just thank you so much for having me. This was great. I love it. Thank you so much. Awesome. Let's shuffle up and show me your tech stack where every episode is a high stakes reveal of the tools that are aces in our guest book, where chips are down and digital decks are on the table. Are you ready for the best in class tech? Let's deal these cards and see what comes up. Who's ready to double down on digital innovation with me?